Now that we know how to write our conditional statements along with all of the others, converse, inverse, and contrapositive, let's look at something called a biconditional statement. These biconditional statements make our definitions in math. So biconditional statement can be formed really if and only if a conditional statement and its converse are both true. So we were doing that a little bit where we were looking at the truth value. So we're going to have to do that for these in order to write a biconditional, okay? And this is our definitions. In geometry. So we'll obviously be looking at kind of like the statements. <laughs> um, geometry. Sure. Um, some of these statements will be math related, some will be fun like we've been doing. Okay. If both of those statements, conditional and converse, are both true, then we can write a biconditional statement with the words if and only if, okay? New terminology, that means we're going to take out the beginning if and the middle then. And we're going to insert our if and only if in the middle of our two statements. Okay, so if this is a true conditional statement. If a shape is a triangle, then it has three sides. Okay, so what is the converse of that? That is also true. If a shape has three sides, then it is a what? A triangle. So since both of these are positive, not positive, <laughs> since they both are true, we can write our biconditional. So what we're going to say is a shape. See how I took out my if? A shape is a triangle. A triangle is where I add if and only if, see I took out my then and I added in if and only if, it has three sides. Okay, conditional statement example. If the date is July 4th, then it is Independence Day. Let's go ahead and write the converse. If it is Independence Day, then it is July 4th. And let's pretend we're only in America when we are evaluating whether they are true or not. If the date is July 4th in America, <laughs> Then it is Independence Day. Is that true? Yes, that's true. If it is Independence Day in America, then it is July 4th in America. Yes, that is true. So I can write a biconditional statement. So the date is July 4th if and only if it is Independence Day. Okay, if either of those were false, then I could not write that statement. An angle is a right angle if and only if its measure is 90 degrees. So I am given this time the biconditional statement. So now let's write the conditional statement and the converse statement. So this part that comes before the, thanks board, 
if and only if is our hypothesis. The one that comes after is our conclusion. So if an angle is a right angle, angle, then its measure is 90 degrees. And I'm going to abbreviate because I ran out of room. All right, conditional statement. We are just switching them. If an angle's measure is 90 degrees, then it is a right angle. Are these both true, which making our biconditional statement true? If an angle is a right angle, it's 90 degrees. Is that true in math? Yes. If an angle is 90 degrees and it's a right angle, yes. These are true. That makes our biconditional statement factual and a definition in geometry. A quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides. That's our definition. So let's write a conditional statement from that. If a polygon is a quadrilateral, then it has four sides. All right, switch on. If a polygon has four sides, then it is a quadrilateral. Since this is true and it is a factual definition in geometry, then the biconditional is Oh no. Hmm. Yep, wrong way, sorry. Okay, a polygon. Oh, it doesn't like me writing down here, that's why. A polygon is a good night. Quadrilateral if and only if it has four sides. Ah. Polygon. This board does not like me. That says sides. That's the one that's probably important to watch the video. All right. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions on our biconditional statements.